So here's my top three things I've picked up and wanted to highlight to you from the Snowflake Summit 2022 in Las Vegas. And the first one is Unistore. Now Unistore aims to bridge that gap between OLTP and OLAP workloads. A little refresher on what they are. So OLTP, Online Transactional Processing Systems, these are the uh, databases that sit behind your front end customer facing applications traditionally. They cater for workloads which are kind of single row searches, um, single row updates, and single row inserts. So quite um, specific, looking at particular rows, doing something with them, either retrieving that to present to a customer in an application, um, or updating an address for a particular customer, for example. Very simple, traditional examples. OLAP, online analytical processing workloads. This is associated with your data warehouse and analytics teams. They're typically running queries that look at, look at wide ranging aggregates and historical information to generate new insights to support decision making. Now, typically to cater for those two quite different workloads, technology companies have had to create different database platforms and software to cater for those appropriately. What Unisaw tries to do is bring those two workloads together on Snowflake using a concept known as hybrid tables. And we'll get into that in a second. But by the virtue of having two different um, platforms, one to look after OLTP and OLAP workloads, then it creates a challenge for customers and businesses. So they have to then move data from their transactional system, process it, add business logic, reformat it, and put it into their warehouse and for, to cater for their OLAP workloads. And then you've got multiple technologies, multiple redundant data sets. You need to manage and govern those, potentially have different teams as part of your operating model that need to look after that, and different skill sets. Now with the introduction of Unistore on Snowflake, which is currently in private preview and only access accessible to a handful of customers at the moment who are early adopters and they're given working with Snowflake and giving them feedback on it, you can imagine now if you're able to kind of consolidate those two different workloads onto your Snowflake data platform, the opportunity then is teams can then look at building transactional applications with real-time analytical queries built in on top of transactional data, as well as being able to efficiently wrap a consistent approach to governance and security around those data assets. And essentially this brings together a single data set really to power the future of your organization, you can act on that transactional data almost immediately, build better customer experiences, as well as obtaining new insights by the ability of all of that data just simply being in one place. You're also able to build transactional applications on top of Snowflake and Snowflake's data cloud, again, without needing to move the data between different systems. And you can also simplify your architecture and standardize various security and governance controls around that single platform whilst eliminating or certainly vastly reducing the need to move or copy data around. Now, now to support that, you really need high performance for transactional applications, especially for those single row operations I mentioned earlier. And to support that, Snowflake have developed an entirely new row based storage engine to support this use case. And it's called hybrid tables. And so when you create a table, the syntax that you use now is create hybrid table and now it allows you to specify a primary key as well as the introduction of indexes and constraints that enforce referential integrity across the different tables in your database. So initially Snowflake came out about these indexing and statistics and, and all of this stuff you would have associated with prior database technology systems snowflake did away with all that it's now interesting to see them having to reintroduce some of this to cater for these new use cases the second feature i picked up on is something called the native application framework it's also in private preview it's aimed at commercial developers essentially it's quite interesting because it allows those developers to deploy applications to the snowflake marketplace and then customers can securely install and run directly in their Snowflake instances without the need to physically move or copy data across the network. So developers can build applications using store procedures, use defined functions, use defined table functions. And it can also incorporate Streamlit, which was a, a company Snowflake very recently acquired. 
purpose of this capability is really ease that pathway of getting applications into the hands of your customers and reducing that time to market as well as any friction around having to physically move data between different environments. Finally, something in here for you data scientists, the addition of Python support now for um, Snowpark within Snowflake is now in public preview. It's been on the cards for quite a long time. It allows people now to build scalable pipelines, applications, and machine learning workflows directly in Snowflake using their preferred language or library. So Java and Scala was already supported. Python, like I say, it's been in the pipeline for some time. It's now in public preview. It broadens and widens that data access to that data science community. I also wanted to let you know about our Master in Snowflake program with myself that we run and it's, it's an exclusive signature program to help you master Snowflake and learn how to design, implement and scale solutions in the cloud. And I've designed this program specifically for those people who have either scratched the surface using Snowflake or who are stuck working with legacy on-premise technologies and haven't been invested in by their companies and have fallen behind in their career. And what I've done is packaged up my knowledge and experience of working with Snowflake since 2017 and learning how to package up Snowflake's out-of-the-box capabilities in a way where you can apply them in the real world to address common challenges. So this program isn't about theory. Of course, I need to introduce you to the concepts if you're new to Snowflake, and many of my members are, but it's really about introducing the theory and then in practice how you apply those in the real world. I've been through the pain of understanding what works and what doesn't, now I've got a formula or a set of recipes, if you like, that show you how to do that. So the Master in Snowflake program includes in-depth, on-demand video course content that I've created that all include practical hands-on demos. I provide access to all the code, templates, and files that I use as part of those demos. So you can download them and use them freely. You may want to use them in your day-to-day -day work. You may want to take them and customize them and use them as a starting point. All members on the program get exclusive access to a members-only group where everybody can help each other out and share their knowledge and best practice and get expert advice. Finally, I also carry out a group 60-minute coaching call with all the members, totally optional, where you can ask me anything about Snowflake, data analytics, data strategy, data architecture, you name it, um, interview advice, and I can help you and give my um, input and help and support and guidance around that. Finally, you'll get lifetime access to all future updates. Snowflake's changing and evolving. There's new features and releases every week, and you'll continue to benefit from those updates as well. At a high level, there's 10 modules. This is what we cover, everything ranging from the Snowflake architecture to getting data into Snowflake. And then once you've got data, how do you effectively use it, secure it, share it, and work with it to ensure that you get the maximum value from your Snowflake implementation. If you're interested, I've included the application link in the video description below. If this sounds like the thing that you're looking for and you want to supercharge your career, and if you're ready to take the ultimate step, I'd really encourage you to fill out the application form below.